Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm an editor and a history professor, and I work with authors, especially first-time authors, on perfecting their books and making their prose a little more direct. Today I'm going to talk about uh, some stylistic things. So sometimes people say, what do editors do? Do you just cor correct my grammar? And the truth is that we do a lot more than that. We look for stylistic things and things that communicate directly with uh, the reader. So um, I'm going to switch over to my screen here and I'll read you um, the original and the um, edited version. Um, and this one is about long sentences. This is something that happens to those of us who write uh, for academics or um, technical books or all kinds of textbooks. It's always a pitfall that we have a lot to say and we're trying to convey really complicated ideas um, and we want to do so in a direct form. So the original, you can see it's four lines long. While executives know that formalized change programs have value and lead to change that cannot be matched by merely flexing regular op operating procedures, leaders also want to ensure the transformation methods they select produces an ROI commensurate with the dramatic human effort, finances, and time involved in creating deep transformation because leaders know transformation requires strenuous effort that goes well beyond business as usual. So that's a mouthful and it's a brainful. And if you're anything like I was when I first read the sentence, you'll wanna go back to it a few times to try to say, who are the executives? Who are the leaders? Who's doing what? What are they thinking about? And the whole thing kind of gets watered down and crowded in your mind as a reader. So what I do as an editor is I try to divide this up and it actually belongs in three different sentences. My edited version was this. Executives know that formalized change programs have value and tend to lead to change that cannot be matched by merely flexing regular operating procedures, period. However, leaders also want to ensure that their transformation methods produce a positive return on investment and ROI. So here we have the tension that the original author tried to bring up with the word while. Finally, Leaders stake dramatic human effort, finances, and time to create deep transformation because they know transformation requires strenuous effort that goes well beyond business as usual. So there's the new one, the new version, really direct. Every sentence has um, an actor and an action. And as a reader, I can now under see what it, um, is trying to be conveyed on the first shot. I can say... Um, Executives know that change programs have value, and, but they also want to make sure they have a good return on investment. And notice how I wrote out return on investment instead of ROI. You know, business speak, um, academies, we have a lot of ab um, abbreviations, and so we're, we shouldn't expect the reader to just up front know that in their mind. And then, um, again, reiterating the first two that they that the leaders make take risks because they know that they might get a good return on investment from these kinds of, of programs and it's all pretty clear so that's that was our lesson for today and um we'll see you on the next one